The Challenge of the Yukon. On, King! On, you husky! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of a small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Father Donovan, tall, rugged, and kindly, smiled happily as he put two bags of nuggets into the big iron safe in the corner of his cabin. Sprawled in a chair beside the fire, Pat O'Rourke puffed on his pipe as he watched the dancing flames. Uh, it's a comfortable place you have here, Father. I can't tear myself away from this fireplace. You'll see for the night, Pat. I have lots of room. Uh, sure, I must be getting back to Mary. I stopped here first, you know, and the trip took longer than I thought it would. Well, don't let it worry. It was nice of you to bring this gold from Selkirk. It was much more than I thought it would be. Your trip to Selkirk ain't unappreciated, Father. It's not easy for you going there and preaching once a month. When I suggested giving something for the mission here in Dawson, there wasn't a man unwilling to contribute, Catholic and Protestant alike. <laughs> they were more than generous. Uh, they're a rough lot, but they have good hearts. And they like you because you're two-fisted. Some of them better be doing something for the church once in a while to make up for what else they do. <laughs> yeah, that's a fine, strong safe you've got there. Yes, I had it set up by boot last summer. We often have quite a bit of money that belongs to the mission, and, uh... <laughs> well, let's see. it discourages temptation. Uh, you'd think being a man of the church would be protection enough, but it ain't here in the Yukon. There's just as many men up here looking for gold in other people's pockets as there are prospectors wanting to dig it out of the ground. Yes, I guess you're right, Pat. Well, much as I hate to believe in you, I'd better be getting along. Well, thanks again, Pat, for bringing the gold. And bring Mary over to see me when you have time. Yeah, thanks, Father. I will. Good night. Good night, Pat. I'm shot. Let me in. Come in. Here, let me help you. You're bleeding. Sit down here. I, I'm so weak. I, I didn't think I'd make it. Let me take your pocket off. It's my left arm. Oh. Easy, does it? Uh, lost a lot of blood. I'll get you a drink. He shot me just above the elbow. How did it happen? On the trail. I was carrying a lot of gold. Someone tried to rob me. Here you are, drink this. You were uh, robbed, you say? Uh, no, he didn't get me. It was dark. He ordered me to stop. I, I started to run it. He shot at me. Somehow I kept going and hid in the thicket. Let me roll up this sleeve. It, it's sticking to my arm. There we are. Uh, oh. well, you were lucky. The bullet went right through. It barely missed the bone. I... I feel so weak, dizzy. That's from losing so much blood. After this wound is dressed, I'll give you some food and hot tea. You'll feel much stronger in the morning. I, I can't stay here tonight. Of course you can. I'll let you sleep in the back room. No, no, I'm afraid. I, I have all this gold. If the man who helped me up follows Don't me... Don't worry about that. I'll put it in my safe with the church funds for the night. The, the church funds? Yes, your gold will be safe there. There. That bandage will do temporarily. Now, where is this money of yours? It's over there in that sack. I dropped it beside the door. Well, it's heavy. I don't see how you got here with it. You're sure it'll be all right in there? Certainly, my son. You see, here are the church funds. Is all that gold? Where did it come from? It's money from the congregation in Silkirk. We're building a mission here in Dawson, and this is their contribution to it. I'll put yours right here beside it. I'll want to leave early in the morning. Well, if you're well enough. There we are. 
Now, you won't have to worry. I'll get you some food. You can go to bed and have a good sleep. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Monty Police was headed toward Dawson at dawn. Jacques Dupre, a trapper, plodded along beside him as he followed his dog team down the frozen river. King, his free lead dog, ran on ahead. It is lucky for me you come to my cabin last night. Them fur, they are heavy to carry all the way to Dawson on my back. Your dog team is great help. Well, I'm glad I could give you a lift, Jacques. That supper you cooked last night was well worth it. We get Dawson early. That suits me. A lot to do. It's easy trip. It's as good as snow stopped yesterday. About three inches fell. Not enough to worry us. Oh, this river. It looked like smooth white blanket. Chuck, King went through the ice. Oh, oh, you huskies. Your dog, he go through a hole. Oh, the snow must have covered it. King, King. I'll get you, boy. Here, fella. Let me get hold of your collar. Easy Here, let me out. There you are, boy. Oh, poor old fella. Some fool digs fishing hole too big. Yes. Froze over and the snow blew into it. What you do with King? You wrap him in blanket? No, it's if he runs, Jacques. We're almost into Dawson. Father Donovan's cabin isn't far from here. We'll go there. There's the cabin. Over there to the left. On you, Huskies! King's back is one big piece of ice. It's good we get there. Jacques, look at those tracks in the snow. We, oui. someone is hurt. See, that is blood. They lead to Father Donovan's cabin. Uh, here we are. Pull, oh, hurry, huskies. Sergeant Preston, how are you? Hello, Jacques. Hello, Father how Donovan. How are you, Father? Come in. You were just in time to share breakfast with me. And here's King. How are you, old fella? King just fell through the ice, Father. Someone dug a large fishing hole and the snow covered it. Well, poor boy. Come here by the fire and dry off. <laughs> this fire, she feel good. Oh, we don't want any breakfast, Father Donovan. Haven't been on the trail very long. I stayed with Jacques last night. We ate before we left. Well, you'll have a hot cup of tea at least. Oh, we oui, that I would like. Well, here, sit down. Sit yeah. down. I'm glad you stopped in, Sergeant. Last night a man came to my door. He'd been shot. Yes, we saw his tracks in the snow. Yes, a poor fellow. He's still asleep in my bedroom back there. Lost a lot of blood. And someone tried to hold him up. He was robbed? No. But the man who tried to rob him shot him. A bullet went through his arm. Did he uh, have a lot of money on him? Yes. Three bags of nuggets, some gold dust. I put it in my safe for the night. Uh, to try to kill him like that, that was bad. Hurry up with the tea, Jacques. <laughs> yep. There's a chance that we can trick whoever did this. You mean you can catch the man who shot him? After that fresh snowfall we had yesterday, shouldn't be hard to do. The tracks leading to your door are plain enough. We can backtrack and pick up the other man's tracks in the place he shot him. Well, that's a fine idea, Preston. But you can't take King until he's dry. Yes, you're right, Father. I'll leave King here. Shark and I can follow the tracks in the snow. It can't be so very far away. Uh, I am ready. No, King. Sorry, boy, but you're staying here this time. Come on, Jock. Well, good luck, Sergeant. And be careful. Thanks, Father Donovan. I will. That man, he come a long way for being wounded. His trail leads to that cabin back there in the woods. Father Donovan say he was shot on the trail. Why, if he's wounded, does he leave the cabin? No other tracks around. Ah, it's rough going through these woods. Oh, hurry, huskies! You better be careful, Jacques. I don't know what we'll find in that cabin. These tracks lead straight from the cabin, all right. Oh, this is a lonely place. I can't see why. Look, Jacques, the door of the cabin's open. Nobody is there. Come on, we're going in. Sergeant, look! A man in that bunk. dead. What is that in his hand? A gun? Yes, a revolver. Look, Jacques, this man was stabbed, just over the heart. You think he is the man who is robber? This whole cabin's been ransacked. If he had gone, how could someone stab him? You know, I think he was stabbed first. Whoever stabbed him started to look for his gold, thinking he'd killed him. He may have had a gun hidden and opened fire on the thief from his bed. Oui, that, 
That could be, but then Chuck, I... we're going back to Father Donovan at once. I think we've left him alone with a thief and a murderer. After Sergeant Preston left, Father Donovan turned to King. The great husky looked anxiously after his master and whined as the priest stroked his wet gray coat. Never mind, Freddy. He'll be back soon. Here, boy, let me give you a rub down and get some of the water off you. You're melting like an icicle. <laughs> Preston's lucky to have a dog like you, whose muscles in your shoulders are like steel. Well, good morning. How do you do, Ranch? I'm all right. I thought I heard voices out here. You did. Sergeant Preston the Monty came in. His dog here fell through the ice and he brought him in to dry off. Uh, a Monty? Yes. It was quite fortunate he dropped in. I told him what happened to you. He went out to see if he could trace the man who held you up. Oh. I don't see why he tried that. He doesn't know where it happened. Well, it hasn't snowed since you came last night. Your tracks are very clear. Don't worry. He'll find him. Now, sit down. I'll get you some breakfast. I, I don't want any breakfast. I, I haven't time. I, I'm supposed to meet a man at Grand Forks. He, he'll be waiting for me. But surely you can take a little time to eat. The tea is ready. I said I don't want any breakfast. I I mean, I mean I'm not hungry. If, if you'll get my gold out of the safe, I'll be running along. Well, if you're in such a hurry, of course. I'll just move over, King. I want to get into this safe. Where's my father? Oh, oh, here it is. And here's your gold. You'd better let me look at your arm before you go. Don't shut the door of that safe. What? I want everything that's in it. Those other bags. Those are the mission funds you did... Not... them, do you hear? See this knife? So you weren't held up at all. You're the thief. Get them out, I say. Rance, you can use only one arm. And I'm a much bigger man than you... Put down that knife. Don't come any closer. I can throw this knife as straight as I can shoot a bullet. Stop, I say. Oh, 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 oh. Go away, help. My arm, take this. Help. Take this. Back, King. Help. Get off him, fellow. Take... Oh. All right, King, good boy. Watch him. He, he chewed my army. Get up, Rance. You were very foolish to try to throw that knife. This dog has been trained to watch for that. Take him away. He won't hurt you now unless you try to get away. With both arms helpless, I don't think you'll try it. I'm a fool. I should have taken my golden gun. It wouldn't have done any good. This dog would have trailed you. You'd have caught. Of all the rotten luck. Now, sit down in this chair, Rance, and let me dress this wound. Father Donovan, are you all right? Uh, yes, Sergeant. This man, he is murdered. He, he killed someone? What's your name? None of your business. He told me it was Rance Davis. Hello, King. Quiet, fellow. I guess he's trying to tell you he saved my life. Rance tried to kill me. Oh, so that's what's wrong with his arm. He tried to kill man of God? I thought King saved Rance from becoming a murderer. I'm sorry to hear it was too late. He saved your life, Father. That is enough. I could have got away if it hadn't I been I must for... warn you, Rance. Anything you say will be used against you. You're under arrest for robbery and murder. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time. Hugh Holder speaking... This is the Michigan Radio Network.